Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photo V and Photoshop Tutorials lesson. Okay, today we're going to be looking at contact sheets. I've done a tutorial before on my page all about how to make a contact sheet in Google Slides. And I've also done one about doing it on your phone on PhotoP. Today I'm going to show you the differences of using Photoshop to do the official version. Okay, on here you can see I have got one I've taken as a screenshot from Windows, and this is the one that I've done in Photoshop. And you can see it's slightly different, the pictures are closer together. But other than that, the images are still the same, and all the information is exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is in real time talk you through how to do each of these, so you get to see which one works best for you. Okay, to do the Photoshop one, first of all, we need to go to Photoshop. Obviously, before we do anything, you need to make sure that the folders has you have a folder with the pictures in okay i'll call it new flowers free and here is my folder okay i'll hide that for now so in photoshop you go file automate and contact sheet 2. to do this you need to make sure that you choose the folder that you wish to find it you click on choose and you find where the folder is so in this case it's in here and it's new flowers free i click ok then you've got options of what size you want to make it. I did it on an A4 sheet of paper, so I've got 29.7 width and 21 height in centimetres. You can do this whichever way around you want. I went for 180 pixels per inch on my resolution. I went for an 8 across by 4 down, so that gives me room for 32 pictures. And we can choose to do that any way we want, depending on what we want the outcome to look like. So I'm going to hide this out of the way. And once we have done this, we click OK, and then it will automatically create a contact sheet. But the video, the reason I'm doing this video is to show you how long that actually takes. So I'm going to click OK, and it will start to create the contact sheet. You can see it's done one picture, and it will do that for a while. While it's doing that, we'll check back in on it every so often. I'm going to pop to my folder where I put them all. So all I've done is open the folder and gone to large icons. If I use the snipping tool and I click new and I draw a box over my folder in Windows where my images are saved as large icons and then I come over to my thing and I click control V once I've copied it there is my Windows contact sheet. Now I'd suggest to you that took a few seconds and meanwhile, we'll go back to Photoshop. I'll wait for it to load. It's going to be quite hard to load as it is working. And it's done four pictures so far. So you can see, if you're in a hurry already, I'd suggest to you taking a screenshot from Windows as the winner. But if you want your images to look more like these ones, if I... Then I would recommend using Photoshop. So we'll check back in on Photoshop now. And we'll watch in real time as it does it. So what is nice, I suppose, is it arranges them really neatly for you. And it doesn't waste space around them. You can see it's doing them in batches. And it is setting it all up for us. It's going to take a little while longer. So while it's doing that, I'll just go back to my nature of flowers thing. I'll show you on here when I did the hack to do them on your phone using Photo P. What was nice about this is it's basically a screenshot off your phone. So it's almost the same as doing the Windows version. So there you can see there's your phone. You're going to take a screenshot from your phone. Okay. What this doesn't have, which is annoying, is it doesn't have the unique numbers next to each picture which is one of the advantages for doing it in Windows or with Photoshop, because this then proves that they're your pictures. Okay, so we'll check back in on Photoshop now, see how we're getting on. It is a little bit slow to respond. It will just catch up. There we go, we're almost there. And um, Also, it's nice, it turns them round, so you've got them the right way round if you've got landscape pictures as opposed to portrait pictures. Um, you can see it's putting them all on different layers over here. Now, because it's a computer and you know it's a lot, a lot of RAM, we're working at super speeds. 
it is still takes quite a long time as you can see so we'll check back in on it in a minute and I'll create a new slight node to place it on in here so there we go we're five minutes in and it's still got a few to go I mean, it's the sort of job you can do, go away, have a cup of tea, come back, have another cup of tea, and then it will be um, ready to go. And um, I think we've got about four more to do. But doing things in real time, it really gives you a sense of it, because if you watch one of these how-to videos on the internet, oh, make a contact sheet, click here, do that, do that, boom, it's done. Well, actually, the real-time bit, it hasn't done, so, you know, I think we are almost there now. So only a couple more to go. There's one of them. And there we go. We are done. So this is what we do next. We go file, save as. We'll call it contact sheet two. I'm going to save it in our best folder. So we click save. Make sure we change it to JPEG and we won't be able to stick it onto our slideshow. Click save, click OK, go over to our slideshow, click on insert image, upload from computer, find it, there it is, click open. And there we have it. So I will go to present so you can see them all nice and large. There you go, that's your Photoshop version. Perfectly adequate and brilliant. And there is the screenshot from Windows. There's the other version of that. So you can see one advantage of the Photoshop is the quality of the images is better. So if you've got time to wait and you need to do it really, really well so you can see real high quality images, Photoshop. If you're in a hurry and you want to get it done quick, windows okay that's my verdict and i um, hope you've enjoyed watching this video obviously if you have don't forget to go over to my channel and thank you for watching goodbye